Hi guys, it's Dizer Fred, it's time for another Let's Play Undertale. So last time around, uh, we did a thing where we saw a couple of dogs, I think, and then um, something happened with Papyrus and stuff, and, you know, Papyrus is making spaghetti all of a sudden, and it's just like, whoa, things are happening here. So, um, aware of dog, guys. Please pet dog. I feel like, if you know, if dogs were able to talk... This is what they would be saying. They're like, they're like, please aware of me. You know, and they're like wagging their tail and stuff. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art, of course. Ding, ding. On the floor inside, there's a box of palmer raisins. I don't even know what a palmer raisin is. Anyways, hi, cow person. That dog considers itself an artist, but it doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Um... Poor puppy. You are very insulting, Mr. Polka Dotted Cow Wearing Person. Um, ooh, a puzzle, guys. I bet Papyrus didn't set this up. Wow, I screwed up so bad. Oh, look. It's a snow papyrus. Aw, sans. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. In red marker? <laughs> How can you write on snow, guys? It doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. <laughs> Get it? Snow sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. Oh, wow. That was... Right when I said I was so smart, I am actually not so smart anymore. I, I feel ashamed. I am ashamed, guys. Alright, it's actually really hard to do it on this D-pad, because this D-pad has, like, horrendous controls. Alright. Alright, we're doing this. I think I did it wrong. Wow, I, I, I recall doing this puzzle initially, and I was like... I did it in the first try. I am so smart, but um, I apparently am not so smart anymore. Like, where did all my smartness go, huh? I think it's this way. Yeah, where did all my smartness go? I I I, I severely question my smart pantsness now. All right, let's start over. Hi, muscular papyrus. All right, so. Uh, we gotta think this through pretty, like, smartly. We gotta figure out how to get into the middle. Um, because it looks like the middle is gonna be the challenge. So we're gonna start off here. Right? So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, then we can go out and start doing the other ones. Because we're like, you know, it, it, it makes sense to do this, this. Wow, my, sorry, that was my controller screwing up. Like, I really need to get a different controller. Because, like, I pressed diagonal there where I meant to, yeah, there, there again. I pressed diagonal I, where I didn't meant to. I didn't meant, mean to press diagonal. Um, it seems to be really sensitive on diagonal. Wow, I did that wrong. It seems to be really sensitive on diagonals for some reason. I don't know. This game needed an engineer, guys. I am an engineer. Alright, so we gotta go out here, because obviously, yes. And then we gotta do this thing here. And we do this. We do that. And then we're so smart. Look how smart we are. Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh no, look at how dumb we are! I think I did that wrong. <laughs> I was just like, you know, patting myself on the back, like, ah, I'm so smart, and then suddenly I'm just... Oh my gosh! Alright, uh, let's do this right. Eh? 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 Uh... Okay, we can go back here now. And then we're gonna do this thing where we do... Ah, okay, I get it. Now we do this. And do that, and we go up. Let's hope not our con mm, controller. All right, I'm gonna like lay down my controller and like do a thing. Um, this game I don't think is meant to be played with controllers, or at least the the Xbox 360 controller, because the D-pad has diagonals for some reason on this thing. So it's 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 very upsetting, guys. I I hope I can beat some of the tougher bosses doing this, because this is ridiculous. All right. See, now we got, like, a perfect line to our ending. Like, seriously, my first try on this, I'm like, I am so smart. I got this thing, like, so, so great. I, you know, am the smartest person in the world. Okay, now we can do this, like, fun thing where we, you know. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I guess we were not the smartest person in the world. Um, let's see. Again, with the puzzle... All right, I think I got it this time. So we got to clear, we, get, we can't touch that last one right there. I think. Oh, you know what? Okay, I think we're supposed to get the middle ones last. 
That makes sense. Okay, so we, we start off uh, skating down here. And we go up here. And we do this. And then we do this. And then we do that. And then we do this. Yeah, we get yeah, we get the middle ones last, and then that makes sense. And then Ta-da! And then we press the button. <gasps> so dramatic, guys. I think those are woods. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Whoa. There is a snowball on my head. Ah! Dog! Dog! There was a dog on my head. Huh. The dog one way and it's just snow the other way. What's over here? Hi, Sans. Hey, what's up? I actually didn't say hey, I just added that. Because I'm weird. Whoa, you've been teleporting. Say, are you following me? No. I'm not following you. Whoa, what, 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 what the, the heck is this thing? The gift rod. Okay, let's decorate. You had some googly eyes and, yeah, you found it in the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. I don't even know what that was. Oh, it's raining snowballs. It's raining snowballs, guys. It's kind of like snowing. Uh, no, wait, what? How do I know what? Uh, oh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, da, da, ooh. No, no, stop it. All right, undecorate. Remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. All right, well, ow. You're hurting me. Uh, I'm gonna undecorate. You remove the striped cane and says, I use this tiny, wait. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on, or to walk on it. That's a little better. All right, so we just gotta undecorate this guy. He doesn't like his decorations. All right, here you go. Remove the box of non-dog related ring. <laughs> non-dog related ring, ooh, okay. Ow. All right, undecorate. You remove the box of non, okay, the weight has been lifted. Problems have been taken away. Oh, all right. Bye. What's this? Whoa! I've actually never been in this room. I don't know what this is. It's a door. Let's see, can I do anything here? I don't think I can do anything here. Yeah, I actually don't remember coming through this area before, so, um, yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. Hi, Sans. Bye, Sans. Sans is such a great guy. I like Sans. Are these eyes or something? I don't know what those are. Hey, another Sans. Too many Sans, guys. All right, so, um, it's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What's in here? Woof. Hi, doggy. What a tiny doghouse. A snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside this. Wait. What is this? It's a snow puff. I guess this thing is a snow puff, too. With a tail. And a head. And a dog. It's not really a snow puff anymore, is it? It's a dog. That's really big. That's gonna hurt us. Yeah, it's the greater dog! I like how- Oh my gosh, I never even noticed this before, but... You guys see a dog face on his gauntlet? There's also a dog face on his spear? And obviously, you know, dog head. You know, that that's pretty funny. Hi, dog. Come over here. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Aw, ooh, ah, no, don't bark. Bark, bark. All right, let's pet it. Your dog curls up into your lap and is pet by you. It gets comfortable and falls asleep. Zzzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, ow. Okay, I gotta be careful now, because I'm gonna get hurt. Let's eat some nice cream, guys. You're super spiffy. Recover 15 HP. Bark, 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 bark. Ah, uh, bark. No, dog. All right, so, um, 
Let's go play with her now. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks it all the wait, picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. Rests its head on you. Aww. Don't stab me, dog, if you're gonna rest your head on me. Greater dog wants some TLC. Okay. Um let's pet. As uh, you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. I like how the font is like Ugh. your movements are your movements slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh, all right, we gotta pet more, guys. That's how you pet dogs. I pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his leg hanging in the air. Ah, uh, dog. Greater dog is contended. Oh, I can spare him now. Good doggy. <laughs> of course. The tiny dog in a big suit. Somehow it can move with its butt in the air. Fantastic, guys. Uh, I, you know, in, in movies, I always don't like these bridges because they, you know, I'm I, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm terrified of heights, like irrationally afraid. Like, I can go on the elevator and get terrified in the mall. Anyways, we're back here again. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good, guys. Doesn't look good. They got a dog, too, over there. Um, when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Will dogs bark during this? I, I don't know. The only chance, or the only, wait, only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am. I, I didn't know what those letters were. I was like, I was looking at it. I was like, that looks like a, a sideways equal sign. I don't know what that is. Anyways, I am about to do it. Well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now. That, uh... Doesn't look very activated. Well... This challenge... It seems... Maybe too easy to defeat a human with. Yeah! We can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair! And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Alright, good good guy. Good guy. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another dis uh, decisive victim, uh, victory for Papyrus. <laughs> I like how he's just like, kind of confused. Sup, Sans? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. All right, that's good advice. Remember, guys, it's like a it's like a blue stop sign, you know, because you gotta stop when it's blue. It, you know, because stop signs are red, but you know, but stop at blue. <laughs> the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. All right, let's go ahead and save because Snowden, guys. Wow, whenever I. Hmm. Let's see, hold on. When I save, I seem to be... I seem to always move sideways after. Oh, okay. Never mind. That developed my theory. Use the box? No. Right, there's a shop here. Let's go in the shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, what's up with your life? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Oh, that's actually kind of deep. What's well, about the town? Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in, the Sno uh, in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or you can burrow under the door, forget about it. What do you do here? Uh, you want to know what I do here in Snowden? Uh, Grilled Bees has food, uh, and the library has information. If 
get tired? Oh wait, I think I'm just asking for information. I read that wrong. <laughs> uh, you can take a nap in the inn. That's right, it's next door. My sister runs it. And uh, if you're bored, you can sit outside and uh, watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> Sands and papyrus. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up and uh, asserted themselves, of course. The town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Uh, that's actually pretty funny. I didn't know that about those two, but those two. <laughs> hey, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Uh, where'd you come from? The capital? I don't, uh, you don't look like a tourist. Uh, are you here by yourself? I don't even know where my accent's going to. It was like, it was like, uh, what do you, what do you got here, actually? I got a tough glove. Slap him! Uh, a manly bun. I almost thought that said a manly banana. It's like, of course, guys. This banana is twice as manly as you. Uh, this is some cool stuff. Bicycle. Eat it twice! Okay, I think I want one of these. So let's get a cinnamon bun. Alright, bye. Bye. Ah, I want to be moving that way. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. What's this? Oh, it's another bunny. Welcome to the Snowden. I get it. <laughs> Snowden. I love this game. It has so many puns. Snowdens! Oh my gosh. The Snowden in Snowden. Because Snowden is like... Oh my gosh. That, oh my god. Ah, oh, that's so good. <laughs> uh, what, uh, no, I don't want to do that. That's a lot. Alright, what are you? Mom says sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Whoa. What is maximum HP? I love that in games. Games are just like, hey, your HP. Or like, you press the A button. But, you know, it's like... The game, people actually don't know. Hi, Christmas bear. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like uh, by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool because we undecorated him. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Uh, this lady? What disturbs you? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Hello, you person. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Of course, all kids wear striped shirts. Actually, I think kids do wear... Sh Quite a lot of kids wear striped shirts. Hi, Bear Man. This town doesn't have a mayor. But uh, if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell you if, uh, tell a fish lady about it. Um, okay. That's politics. Uh, do we actually have any fish ladies in politics right now, or skeletons? I'm actually not sure. Oh, look at all these people. Hi! We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Haha, <laughs> I get it. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. And you wouldn't want that. Um, that's actually like, you know, when, when, when I'm playing with my dog, it's like, it's like, I should probably think about sitting down because usually when, you know, when I sit down, she sits down on me and she's like, I'm not going to leave. I love you. And I'm not going to leave. And she's like, geez, dog. I think you're giving a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and will take me for a walk, please. Hi, puppy. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh, hey, fish man. I put out a line for some girl. Uh, I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. And because you are a fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard. The elite military led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Hi, fireman. Dot, 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 dot. Gleebs said he would offer you a glass of water, but it, he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their, uh, wait, what? It's a jukebox, and it's broken. Alright, so we explore this way. Wait, what was that bunny thing? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. 
and hot guys. All right, everybody wants hot guys. Um, everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join him, but I'm not very funny. Oh, poor guy. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? Uh, we can't do anything, so why be mor morose about it? That's kind of an interesting way to put it. I guess. <gasps> A library. Hi, horsemen. I love working in the news local newspaper. There's so little reports, so we just fill it with comics and games. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more attacks will hurt us. Oh my gosh. Therefore, if a powerful being, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill. Um, let's end the chapter there. Whoa, that's kind of dark. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. And they start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. I don't even know. While monsters are only made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. Uh, they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. Uh, they never get a bullet pattern birthday card. I don't know what that is. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals. Technically speaking, are as cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it over the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live uh, on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Is I was talking about uh, page minimums and like word counts in you know freaking papers in my Ocarina of Time thing. Monster history part four. Fearing humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We brave the harsh cold, damp swamp land. Uh, and searing heat until we reach what now is our capital new home again our king is really bad at name um, yeah. <laughs> alright so anyways uh, let's go ahead and continue onwards out of the library look at all this mail it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail this mailbox is labeled papyrus look inside alright it's empty <laughs> okay it's locked I right here it's locked too. It's locked from the inside. Alright, so um, I think over here there's actually an event that happens. So we're actually going to go ahead and end the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. All the way over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and save the game. Yes, it fused me with determination. So anyways, um, yeah, that, that, that ends the episode. So this time around we just explored more of Snowden. Um, I get it because it's Snowden, but <laughs> um, yeah, we explore more of Snowden, and it's actually a pretty cool, uh, lively town with a lot of cool characters about. Um, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I shall see you guys on the next one. <laughs>